Now Delaney Gibson is going to play a small portion acoustically of a song that the producers are going to work on this afternoon, and it's called Better Version of Me. Delaney is very soulful, and I think she has a very powerful voice. I think the previous people she was worked with haven't let her go all out. Good, that's strong. I mean, it was so much fun to work with. Good. That, I've got total intensity in the eye, and that's what I really want to find, is her being real. I think the images we took today are exactly my image that I'm going for, kind of elegant, yet fun and playful. We're taking the tracks that Delaney and Joseph are making and we're actually making some sites for them to let them do some social promo on Twitter. We're trying to let them connect to new fans, so to find new people, to sort of get their music out there, to sort of help spread the word. Today I'm going to be working with Rue and Ozzy, and they're so talented and so well-versed in this industry. I can't wait to see what they come up with. Hey! Is that the song? Well, yeah. <laughs> we're taking it to a whole new direction. I have a little apprehension because I am kind of a type A control freak. <laughs> the album that she sent Ozzy and I, it didn't really let her show, showcase her capability. I think she's she's beyond that. And that's where we filled in the gap. How am I going to sing this? It's so different than how I wrote it. They do not work in the same style as me. I love grimy, dirty hip hop. You know, I come from like live instruments and playing, you know, piano. The grimy and dirty it is, the more I love it. <laughs> we need a little bit more dynamic okay. because it feels a little plain, you know? If you could just make it a, a little breathier. I want to understand the words. I couldn't really make out what you were saying. Do you think it's gonna sound a little theatrical if I enunciate too much? No, I'd rather understand what you're saying. The last version you had was more laid back and more country like this is completely different from that. Definitely. All right, here we go. And I'm getting back to my Make it more punchier. I'm getting back to Let's make it more soulful. Being that she's more used to being like a laid back singer. There was a little bit of a of a um, like a shock. I feel like she's got a great voice in the way that like it not pitchy, it's not really pitchy, right? Tonight. Right. I like that one. I thought that was good. good. Yeah, that was good, but let's do one more. Hey Delaney, how are you? Good. I want to introduce you to Pete Wentz. I heard you singing in there. It sounds hey. really good. Thanks. You got a great voice. Thanks. It sounds great. It sounds really great. <laughs> it was really cool to talk to Pete Wentz because um, I'm just a really big fan and also Amy Costa. She's such a great singer. The common theme to their feedback, I think, was just they, they love the voice and just keep it big. Because I don't know that person Yeah, that was done. Awesome. <laughs> the biggest thing that I'm taking away from today is to have an open mind. What we gave her was very out of the box for her. You know, it's like asking a consistent RBI hitter to hit a home run, which she hit a grand slam for us, so props to her. I think I have a very clear vision of what I want in myself, but that doesn't mean that I'm not willing to take risks. Mm -hmm.